Yeah, that totally happened. Uh, okay. Let's see where we go today. <laughs> we. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, wish him good luck again. I mean, why not, right? Um, okay, so in the name of me not hanging everything, I'm going to take on e5. And maybe I'll manage to salvage the game somehow. Like I salvage every game. Nope, h3 is not a good idea. Try not hanging stuff. The sad thing is I saw h3 was bad because of knight takes knight, not because of knight takes bishop. If a knight takes knight, I have to play gf, and then you have bishop takes. So, that's what I saw. I did not see the more obvious, like, one-move combination. Um, so, there's a possibility that just maybe the stream will be wrapping up after a few more games, or one more game, or however many. There's definitely a possibility that um, I might need to wrap the stream up. You know, I don't even think anything needs to be said there. <laughs> uh, but okay, we'll focus on this game. Usually I just play bishop h4. Oh, no, if you're looking at, if you want to understand how to play chess, uh, basically this game is showing, well, in the previous game and like the previous couple hours, I've been showing you like what not to do. So as long as you don't do any of the things I'm doing, you'll be fine. I'm teaching by way of example. Or maybe teaching by counterexample. I wonder if that's a thing. Okay, so I want to exchange on F3. Play this. Either exchanges or he retreats. And if he retreats, uh, I think I'm okay. Actually, if he retreats, I kind of have a tactic. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Wait. Now, for a minute there, I thought I was super clever. Like, beyond clever. I thought I had a tactic that just won the game on the spot. There's not a chance that that could happen. Huh. 
Okay. Well, this is the fantasy variation. So called because you only get this sort of stuff in your nightmares. Um, so this is kind of like checkers, yeah? Because my knight can take. Yeah. I want to play knight takes. I really want to know where this goes. And unfortunately, it's going to the place that I calculated, and not to the unknown place. So, I calculated this is a fork. It attacks two pawns. I kind of hoped that we were going to see the alternative, where um, my knight takes three pieces in a row, and his bishop takes bishop and a rook and a pawn, and my e4 pawn's hanging. And um, kind of hoping we get a chance to see that, but okay. I guess I should just be content that um, I get this position. Oh, I can't take F7. Definitely helps to know your end games. Yep, so this is a slightly inferior end game. Oh, we get a knight exchange. Okay. Now we might have something. Wow, I did not expect the knight trade. So, you guys saw my game against Fianchetto a while ago. You might know what's coming up next. Um, for those of you who missed it, you might see it for the first time. But, um, basically, the point is that these games aren't always drawish. There's a lot you can do to make your opponent think here. Drawing these is rather difficult. Oh, right, h6 isn't hanging. I have a big decision to make here. I don't know if that was the right decision. It's going to plague me for quite a while. Okay, bishop e1 is an example of me pushing too hard for a win. Bishop e1 is like totally uncalled for here.
<laughs> oh no. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's survey the damage just to see how bad it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well... It doesn't get any better than that. Let's go out on a high note. Uh, wow. Uh, what a way to go. Okay. I, yeah, I got overconfident there. Um, like, this is winning. This end game. With me having the extra uh, pawn, I'm pretty sure even at this point it's probably still winning. Um, yeah. So the point is, uh, who pointed this out? Zacer pointed this out. Yeah, bishop to here. What's that? Is d2, isn't it? Yeah, bishop d2 stopping king a5 would have been ever so slightly better than what I played. Yeah. The well spotted by Zacer. Um Okay. Still, the head great comic effect. Um Wait. Wait, what? That's not stalemate. 